Welcome everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this pheasant. It was another request. When crocheted using 8 ply wool, this one, the size is 21.5 cm by 17 cm or 8.5 inches by 6 and 3 quarter inches. The medium pheasant crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 mm crochet hook is 18 cm by 12 cm or 7 inches by 4 and 3 quarter inches. This small pheasant crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 mm hook is 14 cm by 7.5 cm or 5.5 inches by 3 and 3 quarter inches. I do have the colours I've used for this one on my website. The cotton is too fine to use for my video, so I'll be using the four ply. Now I've got orange, red, two browns, white and green in four ply crochet cotton. I've got a 1.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and to embroider on the markings. Now I'm starting with my green just at the head there and I start with three chain. For row one I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet put your hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take your hook with this yarn at the end through the two loops. And I need a single crochet into the last stitch. For row two I work one chain and turn my work. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. And I work one half double crochet and one double crochet into the last stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And we also need a double crochet. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So yarn around the hook, hook into the same stitch as our half double crochet, bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We have two left, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops. For row 3 we start with 3 chain. We work 1 double crochet into the first stitch, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch and 1 single crochet into each of our last 2 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into each of the first 2 stitches. And then a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For a join double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got three loops left on our hook and then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops. 
for row 5 we start with 3 chain and turn our work. We work a joined double crochet row for the first 2 stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet into each of the remaining two stitches. For row six, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the green part of the head done. I'll just fasten that off. And that's the head done. Now for this white stripe, I joined my white cotton in the first stitch worked from our last row. So this stitch here away from our tail. This is going to be the right side. We work one chain. We work a single crochet in that same stitch as our chain and then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And then we work two single crochet into the last stitch. We'll have five single crochet for that row. and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in all the ends except for this last end and I'll be back with the orange to work the body. For the body I join my orange cotton in the first stitch worked of the white row. So this stitch here I couldn't get colours close to what a pheasant would be, so I had to use orange. I work one chain. I work two single crochet in the same stitch as a chain. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have six stitches. For row nine I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have seven stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 10, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have eight stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we work one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch then one single crochet in each stitch to the end and we'll have nine stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 10 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 11 stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 13 stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 14 stitches. 
So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 15 stitches. For row 18, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two half double crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have one stitch left. And we work two half double crochet into our last stitch. For row 19, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into our first stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 17 stitches. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 17 stitches. So after our joint single crochet, 
one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 21, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 18 stitches. For bow 22, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For bow 23, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 19 stitches. For row 24, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. 
We're going to work one half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 18 stitches. So after our joint single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And then work one half double crochet into the last stitch. And the body looks like that so far. It's starting to shape in now at the front and we're just stopping the shaping out at the back. For row 25, we work one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 17 stitches. So work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over those last two stitches. For row 26, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 16 stitches. For row 27, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 15 stitches. So one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches.
and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 14 stitches. And that's the body done, except for the neatening row, and we'll work the bottom shaping while we're working the neatening row. So I don't fasten off. Now we don't turn our work after row 28. We're going to work the end tail bit first and then up the back. So we start with two chain. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches of the tail part. Now we're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch up the back. For a slip stitch put your hook into the stitch, just find a suitable place not too far from the edge. Bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on your hook. So we repeat that right the way up till we re reach that white row. Now just before I get to the white row, I join in my white, so just at the bottom of the white row. Now if you prefer just to join in your green and then embroider over the white, that would be fine. And then I work one slip stitch with the white and then join in my green and work a slip stitch in each stitch around the head.
Now I'll pull those tight when I weave in the ends. I'll just cut off the, the orange and the white. When I get back down, just at the bottom of the white stitch, I join my white in again. And work one slip stitch with the white, and then I join my orange. Just cut off my white and green and I'll continue with my orange working one slip stitch into each stitch just down to this point here. So I'll work to there and I'll be back. Now there's the body neatened, I've just got to work along the bottom there. I start with four chain. That's for the top of the first leg. I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one half double crochet into the next one, and a double crochet in the following chain. Then I work a slip stitch in the third stitch along the bottom, slip stitch into the next stitch and work a single crochet into the next stitch. Now I'm starting on the top of the back leg so I work five chain I work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A half double crochet in the next chain and one double crochet into each of the last two chain. Miss the next two stitches along the bottom and slip stitch in the following stitch. Then work two chain and slip stitch in the side of the back top of the leg. So I take my hook out of the loop and put it in the side there, put the loop on and pull it through, then I work a double crochet in the next stitch along, then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, a 
a single crochet into each of the following two stitches. And then one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. And fasten off. I leave a bit of a longer tail because when I weave in my ends I catch the back top of the leg part to the last row. And that's the body done. I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back with my brown to do the beak. Now for the beak, I join my light brown cotton about six stitches up from the white marking. So it's this stitch here. It's slightly down from the top of the head. It will depend on how many slip stitches you've done in your neatening row. Now I start with three chain. And then I work a join double crochet over the next two stitches. For a join double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops. You've got three loops left on the hook. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops and fasten off. And that's the beak done. Now I'll work these legs while I've got my light brown. I join, I'm joining in the top of the front leg. Just wherever you can get your hook in. And work 15 chain. We miss the first two chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next four chain. So miss two and then a slip stitch into each of the next four. Then work five chain. We miss the first two chain and work a slip stitch into each of the following three chain. Then slip stitch in the next chain on our original chain. And then slip stitch into each of the following two chain. Then work three chain and then slip stitch into the same place as our last slip stitch on the original chain. And that's our claws done and the little spur thing at the back. Now we work one slip stitch into each of our remaining chain. Slip stitch into the top of the leg and fasten off.
And that's the first leg done. The back leg is worked the same as the front leg. We join at the top there. And work 15 chain. We miss two chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next four chain. Then work five chain. Miss two chain and work a slip stitch into each of the last three chain. And then work a slip stitch into each of the first three chain on the original chain. Then work three chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as our last slip stitch and then work one slip stitch into each stitch to the end and slip stitch into the top of the leg and fasten off. So that's the legs done. Now I'll start on the tail now. I'll be using my same light brown. I did try a few different ways of making the tail, but they just didn't look right other than this way. Now I start with 31 chain. Now I miss the first two chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three chain. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end.
and then work 34 chain. We miss the first two chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three chain. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. Next we work 36 chain We miss the first two chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. And then work a single crochet into each stitch to the end.
and that's the tail done. I fasten off leaving a longer tail than normal just to stitch it to the end when I'm putting it together. Now I'll be back with my red to work the face marking and my dark brown for the wing. Now for the wing, using my dark brown, I start with three chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining two chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into each stitch. I'll have four stitches. For row three, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 4, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the six stitches. For row 5, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 6, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the five stitches. For row 7, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 8, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the five stitches. For row 9, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have six stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the six stitches. For row 11, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch.
and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have seven stitches. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have eight stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13, we work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have seven stitches. For row 14, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have six stitches. Work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 15, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have five stitches. For row 16, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. We'll have four stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. A joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 17, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into each of the remaining two stitches. For row 18, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. And that's the wing done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we work one chain and we're not going to turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch around. A 
but just like that. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row, just at this point here. When I get back to the beginning of the row, I slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the wing done. For this space marking, using my red, I make a magic loop. For a magic loop, I just put my hook on my yarn, bring the short end over the hook and take the long end over the short end to make a circle. Then put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle. And there's my magic loop. I work one chain and then work two single crochet into my circle. Then I work one chain and slip stitch into the circle. Then I work two chain and work a join double crochet in my circle. Then I pull the circle tight and fasten off. And that's the face marking done. Now I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the bird, the wing, the face marking and the tail. The first things I'll do is embroider the eye on the face marking. It goes just over the centre circle where I made the magic loop. And I'll work the markings on the tail. I've joined my black thread already. Um, I just catch the first and second tail pieces together just at the edge like that and then just do the marking across to there and then I catch them together again on this side and work up the tail like that. And as I come back the tail back down the tail, I catch them together at the back. just over the join and then I do the same for the second piece. Catch this one and then work back at the back catching it together and then I just do the markings for the last one. I do have close-ups of the photos on my website if there's anything you're not sure of. So I'll embroider on the eye and embroider the markings on the tail and I'll be back. Now the next things I do is attach the face marking to the head in about there and I attach the tail to the back with the long thread I've left. I gather it in a little bit at the back to make it fit to the tail and I'll also embroider the markings on the wing. I do the wavy markings to about halfway down and then just dash ones after that. So I'll do that and I'll be back. The last thing I do is attach the wing. The point of the wing goes just at the top of the tail and it goes just about there and then I'll embroider the markings on the body of the bird and then I'll be back to show you the finished bird. And there's the finished pheasant. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. 
I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.